Well, now we're going to look at colligative properties and freezing point. I'll give you some time to take a look at that definition. Now for the formula setup, you need to make sure you have watched the podcast on boiling point elevation because this one is really similar to it. Look at the formula. Delta T equals KM. The difference, well, it's F's as subscripts because it's freezing point. But otherwise, the formula and the calculation very similar. The delta T, it's the freezing point change. So it's not the freezing point. And it's the difference between the freezing point of the solution with respect to the freezing point of the pure solvent. That's the molal freezing point depression constant. And then we have the concentration of the solution in molality. We're going to take the same solution we used in the boiling point elevation problem. The wording's a little bit different. Instead of calling it a coolant, I'm calling it an antifreeze. And we want to know what the freezing point is of the solution. The non-volatile, non-electrolyte part. Uh, non-volatile simply means no evaporation worries on the solute, the ethylene glycol. And the non-electrolyte means we don't have to worry about the solute breaking up into multiple particles. We'll save that for later. Just like the boiling point problem, when I see what is the freezing point, I immediately write down the mathematical formula because then I know what I need to get in order to calculate the change in freezing point. You do have to have the freezing point depression constant or you can't do the problem. And since it's water, you find the values or you're given them, you know, whichever on this. If you have a table of data to look up, you can use that. And same thing as before, either degree C per molal or degree C kilogram per mole, whichever one you prefer. I'm going to use the top one. And you need the molality of the solution. Since the given information is in terms of mass of ethylene glycol, and you need moles of the ethylene glycol, you need the molar mass. So if we focus on calculating the molality first, I'm not going to step through this, I'm just going to present it. It's the same concentration as the boiling point elevation problem. So if you're stuck on this one, Go back and watch that podcast, and then go back and watch, if you need to, podcast on calculating molality. I'm just shifting some things up. I removed the initial text just because I need room. So we want the change in the freezing point, and we need to have the freezing point depression constant, 1.86 degrees C per molal. We've calculated the concentration. So we multiply by that. And then do our unit check. We've got degrees Celsius. And now we have our change in freezing point. Just like before, this is the change, not the actual freezing point. We were told to use 0.0, .0 as the freezing point of pure water. 
So now we have the change due to uh, adding a solute to water, and we get the freezing point of this solution, 